Hey guys, so this is part two of Christmas shopping. Uh, we're now going to the range and B&M, so stay tuned if you want to see all the Christmas goodies with mummy. So hey guys, it's part two. Don't forget to subscribe, um, and like, and obviously leave a little comment what your favourite bits that you see um, on our little outing. It's a full on day, um, but we're loving it. Are we loving it, Mum? Oh, we're loving it. We're loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. <laughs> Um, so I want to go b and M. I want a big box of ball balls, you know, the filler. There were some really nice ones in John Louis, but they were like 30 quid, yeah, weren't they? Yeah, which, which is, I think, reasonable for glass. They were glass, but I just want plastic with the current yeah. situation. And sometimes you just have to economise a little bit, Absolutely. don't you? If you know? you're going to buy all the cute glass decorations, yeah. you need to kind of rein it in. Just a bit, yeah, just because bit. sometimes it's just about having an effect, isn't it? Um, I've got an idea that I'd like to show everybody for a Christmas table or um, window sort of display with baubles. But that yeah. is coming in Vlogmas. Oh! Yeah, giving oh, away gosh, our I'm trade sorry. secrets, Mum. You never heard it here? No, it's, it, we've got, we've been planning Vlogmas since beginning of November, so, because there's... There's a lot we're doing and a lot of things we need. She's so oh, excited. I am, I am. She's saved all these like food DIY. There's a whole DIY, um, what would you call it? series? Mum's got so many things that we're going to be making. Just, I don't know. Just My a bit of fun. Yeah. So we've been planning, we've got shopping lists and all sorts. So really do uh, subscribe because there's, there's so much stuff coming. Also, if you are subscribed, uh, press the little bell and you'll be notified every time we upload. I am uploading a lot more. I do go, uh, there should be a video live that kind of talks a little bit more about that. I'm not going to go into it in this video, uh, but go watch that if you kind of want to find out why I'm uploading a lot more content. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's going to be way more um, content coming November as well. So now is an amazing time to join the community. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's at the range. Yeah, me. I bit, love the range. A bit more affordable than John Lewis. Oh, that was lovely, wasn't it? So We could spend all day in both, couldn't we? But we've had to cut it down to six hours instead of eight hours. <laughs> Guys, any of, I know quite a few of you play the Switch. Oh my God, I used to play this game on PS2 and I absolutely loved it. It's one of the only games I ever completed as like a young teenager <laughs> and they've launched it on Switch, I think PS4 and whatever the current Xbox is called. <laughs> and I'm so excited, oh my God. Anyone else gonna get it? Anyone else as excited as I am? I don't think anyone else can be as excited as I am. We've been everywhere to find it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's sold out everywhere. <laughs> This is our closest range. It's called an Iceland. It's a bit sheddy, this one, but it's pretty big. Hey guys, voiceover Becky here. Uh, the music was really blasting in the range. So here we are. Um, loads of really cute home decor stuff, cushions, mugs, all sorts of stuff. Mum loved the cushions. This one's really cute. It's the most wonderful time of the year uh, as she demonstrates so wonderfully. Um, really loved this little penguin one. Lots of like silver stuff. Mum also loved this ho 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 cushion. Big fan of that. I love that little Santa with the stars. Thought these were really cute. They've got loads of really good priced lights. Uh, you'll see a lot more of them coming up. Loved this kind of pink green moment it really goes with my kind of vibe in the living room and i know a lot of you guys will like them too love this quite traditional looking robin as well i think that cushion was like a fiver like you can't really can't go wrong with the range prices and i loved the tree with the bells thought it was very white company uh they've got loads of kitcheny dining stuff you know your plates your glasses tableware all that jazz um just thought this was so kitsch and i absolutely loved it it is a lamp with a santa and snowman loved this more kind of retro design and that little holly i kind of wish i got that now mum loved this little tassel cushion as well she also loved this uh, reindeer 
um i think not reindeer unicorn that was 100 pounds which i think is pretty reasonable for how big it is um this bejeweled deer 130 loads of craft stuff if you've got kids grandkids nieces nephews um that you're you know looking after whatever so much craft stuff what can i use these for guys these are so cute and i want to do something with them but i don't know what now onto the lighting um probably should do some sort of warning um, <laughs> there is a, a lot of flashing going on uh we love this tv but didn't understand how to get it to work i imagine it might be broken and i feel like it would spin and make noises who else adores the model village mini things if i had a huge house i'd just have a room dedicated to my own christmas model village I love this one with the little skiers going down. Um, and then, yeah, there's just so many cute ones. Um, this one's got a little ice skating rink down there, Helter Skelter and all that sort of stuff. I just, they're so cute and they really do get me every single time um, I see them. I want one, but I have no idea where I'd put them. And guys, we saw these in John Lewis for £40, wasn't it? £40, £45 here. £25 exactly the same and there's more of that to come later so definitely shop around if you see something you like in John Lewis do a google because you might find it cheaper elsewhere again just more cute model village stuff <laughs> just really my cup of tea and um, this was quite a nice little like cathedral type thing some smaller um items as well love that little kind of like shadow box and i loved all these animals elephant not really sure how that's christmasy but the penguin and polar bear is very cute mum loved this very 3d um i loved the light up candy canes just really sweet and um, love these penguin love this sausage dog love the little robins the deers the fox and this this little guy i just thought was the most adorable little thing i don't have a front garden i have a step so um you know perfect if you haven't got a uh, too big of a space loads of tinsel i feel like tinsel is not as popular as it used to be so you're not seeing it as much in shops but they had pretty much every color of tinsel plus all these little kind of like tinsel decorations love the ones with the holly um and that one was a really nice as well with like all the different colors and all the iridescent colors um lots of baby stuff as well my first christmas stuff also elf on the shelf stuff if you're doing that good luck to you um also just thought this tinsel dinosaur was absolutely mega loved it bathroom stuff literally everything in your bathroom could be kitchen themed christmas lubrosh um shower mat um, they had a toothbrush holder, bin, a Christmas toilet bin. Um, literally everything for your bathroom and toilet needs could be Christmasified. Um, so, yeah, lots to pick from there. Foliage. I do love a bit of faux foliage. And I like this display with these little kind of like tall buckets um, and lots of kind of stuff to stick in reefs and reef hooks mum found these glasses and she made me take this footage love these reef stuff especially that turquoise one really really pretty some slightly unusual ones i like an unusual reef add a bit of personality again a miniature village <laughs> they had this one and then like a gingerbread one i love them love these as well these are like holographic little mini christmas trees this was a black and white theme which i feel like might be some of you guys cup of tea um I just thought you might be interested uh then this is kind of like a gray white bronzy color scheme loved this tree thought this was very john lewis one pound 79 the prices guys are very 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 reasonable and um, this was all quite picked over though now this we just saw this didn't we in john lewis for a fiver this was £2.29 and I preferred it. The John Lewis one was all white, whereas this one just had the tips and some glitter. Um, so yeah, if you see something you like in John Lewis, do have a little search first. Um, and then this was like a blue and magenta, like jewel toned. And then of course we've got the Christmas, uh, the Christmas, of course it's all Christmas, the pink section. Uh, I am a big fan of the pink sections. Uh, because I am going for like a pink, blue, gold, boho moment. Um, I love these trees, but I don't want the grey one. And they're £15 for the range. Isn't 
it's you know it's, it's getting up there uh, this was free quid though thought that was a good price uh, lots of unicorn stuff um just loads of like little fun things love these little like gonks trains massive packs you know this is 13 quid basically got a whole tree done this is more of your traditional stuff i know a lot of you guys were saying you like the more traditional bits and bobs uh so this was a lot more traditional uh you know your candy canes your reds your whites your silvers um and then i also do think just like gold and silver is so so pretty together um so really love these sections now the super traditional stuff was really picked over so i feel like a lot of people like to go the traditional route um so that there wasn't that much left but still some key bits as you can see guys it is dark <laughs> someone's got their brake lights on in front so i've got this heavenly red glow you look like little devils <laughs> um so there was music blasting from every direction in the range so you're going to have voiceover becky um i did actually pick up a couple quite a few little bits didn't i you did um you were tempted yeah I was tempted and they've got really good prices on like bigger stuff um so i'll show you that probably when i get home uh we're now off to the range because they do no, have no, not the range, range b&m we're off to b&m <laughs> because they've got really good bauble boxes um and i'm really impressed with their their christmas selection ha is really good i'd say best of both worlds but if you want something quite you know quite nice quite good quality but at a reasonable price i'd say b&m is is winning this year because john lewis they haven't sold out. wow i feel like it's just been the weekend doesn't it yeah that's true. we're filming this on a monday so i think stocks are currently depleted um, <laughs> but hopefully it's not too bad but i think people are already putting decks up you know I'm not putting decks up oh, until. No, that's too soon. Too soon. I know I'm you've got to of, get out there. I'm doing end of November them, because but... I need to film for you guys what I'm putting up. So I'm doing end of November, but purely for YouTube needs. Absolutely. You're yeah. more like mid December. <laughs> yeah, it, dep it always depends where where the weekend falls or where Christmas. It's on a weekend now. It's on I don't, Saturday um, or Sunday, isn't I, it? Know, I haven't even thought about when to put the tree up. You've got a pop-up tree though. I so. know. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> it's so easy to do. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, yeah. Excited for mum to see. When me and Bex went to B&M last time, we missed an entire aisle. I don't believe it. We couldn't believe it. And Bex only realised when we were at the till. And at that point, it's too late to go back. <laughs> so yeah excited to actually look at the ball balls now and also now i know a bit more about what i'm doing on my tree am i, am I allowed to look at the cooking utensils if for, for my ninja of course of course you can look at the cooking utensils for your ninja <laughs> i will also look at cooking utensils for my off-brand ninja <laughs> guys if you could get your hands on a jewel drawer air fryer or if you're looking for a present for your other half. Oh, what a gift. I tell you what, they're so hard to come by at the moment. Yeah, right, yeah. I know cost, the one I've got is from Costco. Um, I can't remember the name of the brand, but they came back in stock the other day, sold oh, out right. in half an hour. Wow, goodness. Yeah, it's, I think, oh my God, look at that red light. Look at that. People must think we're driving and can't see where we're going, but I can. I yeah, can. obviously been very safe. In accordance to the what's it called highway code <laughs> highway code highway code um <laughs> yeah if you can get your hands on a ninja like that is that is the present of the year they can't Definitely. they can't keep them in stock mm. when did you buy yours oh i'm just trying to think now i don't know about five or six months ago oh, they're I think. fab i use mine every day i, I haven't I do, turned yeah. the oven on in month <laughs> i only use the oven now for pizza mm. it's the only well, thing i made a roast cook. roast dinner didn't i yeah roast Either chicken mine. roast potatoes roast potatoes and then you do the yorkshire puddings while everything rests while the chicken rests yeah. it's fab we might even do christmas dinner in it yeah i'm thinking about it but yeah we'll see you at b and <laughs>
So guys, B&M was a little bit of a bust. We are out on a Monday and they were just saying that the Saturday and Sunday was absolutely manic and they've not even had chance to restock everything but did get what I went in for so can't complain really can we mum no, can't, can't complain no, the girl at the tool was very nice very helpful uh, but footage wise <laughs> you probably think you're bloody hell <laughs> But that's the reality, that's the reality. Um, but I have found that kind of about everywhere is we think a lot of people are buying re really early this year. Because uh, I guess people are thinking there's a lot of uncertainty really. And I think people just want to make sure that Christmas is good this year. Yeah, with I everything I going on. something on Facebook where it's only so many more Saturdays to well, Christmas. It's only one more payday till Christmas really, yeah, isn't it? So... Right. so um, and obviously my first Christmas in my house, so getting yes. literally yep. everything. Um, so but next year, it's going to be a lot less money. <laughs> I'll just maybe buy one or two new decks rather than a whole house worth. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, you want to change no, the theme, well, the I'd have to buy a new sofa. My, it's all based around my sofa, oh, really. That's true. And I'm not planning on getting rid of that anytime soon. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably show you guys what I picked up. I didn't pick up loads and loads, but I'll probably show you what I picked up when I get home. Um, but yeah, it's been a great day out, hasn't it, Mum? Oh, we've had a great time. What's your review then? The overall review. What do you think is the best place? Oh, that's so difficult. Oh, I don't know. Um, what are we comparing? The range with B&M? Or... The, whole, the whole series is a two-parter. So oh, it's a two-parter. You can talk about John Lewis and Paper Chase and <coughs> Typo. Um, oh, to be honest, John Lewis, I think, was my yeah, favourite. Yeah, I think John Lewis 1 was the tidiest. <laughs> Well, yes, it was the tidiest. I think that um, their variety that they've got there is absolutely fab. And yeah. I like the little stories of each one. Um, you know, the, Yeah, they had some... Was it called new... Shit Cafe? No, Shit Cafe. Shit Cafe? <laughs> Sugar Plum? <laughs> shit Cafe? Oh, you know, should we go for a drink at the Shit Cafe? <laughs> The sugar plum. No, that, no. The sugar, I, I, you mean the, I like the communal garden one. Not because I didn't buy anything from that range, but no, I liked the concept because no. it was really unusual. Yeah. What I didn't like was the £30 glass house ornament. £15. Yes, yeah. £15, I think, is maximum I will go to. Yeah. And that's if it's like spectacular. Any more than that. And let, like, the thing is, it, it wasn't even really, really Christmassy. It just had a bit of frosty sort of look to it, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, um, it was nice. It, yeah. But, it, but uh, £30... Pounds, That's no, a lot of money. It's a no from me and Yeah, mom. yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you've got 30 quid to spare, yeah. then go for it, but... I just like looking looking yeah. around the shops. And I love looking around the it's shops. It's a great time of year, isn't it? You know, I feel like we need to probably go off to the pub somewhere and have a nice Ooh. little Christmas drinky poo. Wow, well, I think we should do Bewley one day. Oh, that would be um, nice. There's a oh, great got a nice garden centre there, there, there with well. a beautiful um, range. And also, just show you guys around Bewley, because I've never vlogged Bewley before. Have you not? No, so... Oh, with a bit of, like, the donkeys oh, will be there. Oh, I love the donkeys so much. <laughs> They won't be there because we'll be filming. Yeah, so they'll, 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 they'll know. They're little monkeys, aren't they? They never go to where uh, you expect them to be. But there you go. But that is going to be in the making. We look as if we're actually in a Halloween sort of <laughs> setting, don't we? Yeah, it's, it is. It's black not my best the, look. Black as, black as the night. It's well, it is because it is night. <laughs> but yeah, these bloody early evenings i'm not a fan they're oh, they're so early already and they're only going to get earlier i Never can't mind. believe it but Never mind. there you go gets us in the mood for christmas yeah. anyway i'll show you what i've got when i get home bye everyone say bye to mummy <sighs> bye mummy went bye becky I'm so tired. Yeah. But never mind, it's been great. I've loved it's every been lots of fun. minute of it. Oh, Christ. Crushing oh. my new ring lights. Oh, don't do that, huh? Anyway, I'm going to take a detour back. I'll good see luck. you later. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Everyone says goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Don't close the door yet. That's it. <laughs> bye. bye bye. Guys, let's do a little mini haul. Um, what did I get from the B&M? <laughs> uh, I got this huge 
ball ball pack basically these are just your filler ball balls these i thought were the best deal you get 50 ball balls you get 10 like big special ball balls and then the rest are all like little cute ones and they're all in nice blush pink for 12 quid bargain they had one similar but with a star and that was 15 and it came with like a bag but i don't need this i've got my topper uh, then this is something I've been thinking about. I just really like it. It's like flock little trio of trees. This is £10. I've just been thinking about it. And sometimes you should just go for it, shouldn't you? And then uh, the range. I've also wanted this. It lights up. And this was £2.99. You can't really see it very well. There we go. It's on now. A little bit it's a little bit flickery <laughs> but for 2.99 you can't really complain it's giving me major um white company vibes dad was just calling to ask where mum was because we've been gone all day um but then from the range i got this how adorable it's so cute um it's got like a little string of like traditional lights so so cute um I just really liked it. This was £27. It is plug-in and you can use outdoors. I'm not going to have string lights outside because I don't have ladders. And I don't have a man in this country <laughs> to put them up for me. So unless JP is going to come here and do it for me, it's not going to happen. Then you might have seen this in... Um, the John Lewis segment. This was £2.29 in uh, the range. And I really liked it in John Lewis, but um, I like this one more because it's not all white. It's actually just a little bit and it's got like glitter and stuff on. And I really, really liked it. And for £2.29, it's cheaper than a cup of coffee. And then this, guys, isn't Christmas, but it's for you. This is my Christmas gift to you. It's better lit makeup videos. <laughs> I know guys my video my makeup videos are not very well lit especially at the moment um I've got a really expensive uh, makeup mirror that I thought this is going to be amazing for doing videos and stuff with but it lights because it's at an angle it lights me from below and that's not very flattering so I bought this this was like 12.99 or something I bought it so I'm better lit for you guys because I know it's been a bit shit. I know it's been a bit shit. Um, so apologies for that. And thank you for watching them. Um, and then John Louie. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, it's stunning. This was £20, which is expensive, but I really liked it. And sometimes you just have to go for the things that you, you really, really like. And it does go with my... Um, living room. then the girl as <laughs> John Lewis wrapped everything with an inch of its life so that's going to take a while to unwrap I just picked this one up at typo I was thinking of getting the jumper but when I hung it up by himself the jumper kind of like fold like flumped in on itself and it didn't stay I think if it was like starched or something it would have stayed in the same shape so I did just get this well hung it's just funny guys <laughs> Um, it's my kind of humour and it hangs nicely. My colours, four quid. Just thought it was fun. They, it was free for £10, but there wasn't another one that I like apart from that jumper that I really liked. So just because there's an offer on, guys, doesn't mean you have to. That's another £6, isn't it, that I'm giving them for stuff that I didn't actually want. Um, and then, John guys if i had all the money in the world i would have bought way more there were so many beautiful beautiful decorations um obviously this is my first year i've said this so many times but um, it is the first year in my house so i am picking up quite a few uh, but going forward i'll probably only pick up a couple of new ones a year um but this is stunning this is eight pounds i think for the decoration um and all the elements i think that's a really good price um i love 
hot drinks um i feel like this is a cappuccino but it could be hot chocolate it could be a chai latte like it could be so many things i absolutely love that decoration i just i do think it's quite good value for money considering everything and the next one was also eight pounds and i thought that was good the pricing's all over the place like i was saying literally just a, you know a few minutes ago the greenhouse 30 pounds like it just the price and above the, the santa in the bubble bath like it's the prices are kind of like all over the place um but this again i thought it was so cute it's a little candy floss machine um with white candy floss which i've never seen white candy floss before but i love candy floss um so had to pick it up for eight pounds again i think that's really good value and i like like the different textures and stuff um so so cute and it stands up as well so you could even have it as like a little table decoration and then finally she gave me so much bubble wrap but that's good because i can use it for my other decks um i have got this is just i just thought it was really cute um oh, I am um, also ordering my bedding from George. They've got a set that, oh my God, she wrapped this toy. <laughs> Bless her. She really didn't want anything to get through, uh, which I appreciate. Appreciate And I appreciate the free bubble wrap. There is so much bubble wrap. Um, I love this. I thought this was so cute. This was six pounds. I think that's pretty reasonable to be honest uh, it is china rather than porcelain so really good quality um and i love that it's got a little face i love the gold rim detailing i just think it's really sweet you could put a whole mince pie on there um or you could fill it with some nuts um dried fruits and stuff like that for christmas or red lint balls oh yummy some chocolate some quality streets it's just sweet and i do like these little like plates to put around the house and putting stuff in them i just really like them and i think for six quid bargain they also did a christmas tree one but the reindeer caught my eye because it's just a little bit more unusual and i'm trying to not have too many trees because there's a lot of tree stuff i feel like the trees are quite easy to produce and design so just trying to have a variety but that is the end of today's video um let me know if there's any other stores you'd like me and mum to go around uh, or me and bex because me and bex like to look around the crystal we are planning on going to Bewley, so that would be really nice um and that i can hopefully show you some of the scenery and stuff there too um but hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully there's enough footage um as well because some shops they've got really loud music some shops have nothing at all so there's going to be lots of voiceovers and stuff like that so i hope I hope the video is nice to watch but uh please do subscribe i've got so much more content and stuff on the way um give this video a fun, big thumbs up and let me know down below what your favorite decorations were that you saw um and i hope you're having a magical run up to christmas i'm really excited and i'm excited to make all these videos it's just it's just fun um so yeah i'm glad to take you along on the journey so i hope you're all staying safe and well and yeah i'll catch you in the next one bye